Days after the first drone attack on an Indian military facility, Defence Research and Development Organisation's chief has said that its counter-drone technology could aid forces. He said, and I quote, Counter drone technology developed by DRDO could provide the armed forces with the capability to swiftly detect, intercept, and destroy small drones that pose a security threat. Unquote. DRDO's anti drone system would give the military both soft kill and hard kill options to tackle the new and fast emerging aerial threat. So, what is DRDO's anti drone technology? It is a radar system providing 360 degree coverage. It detects micro drones within a range of 4 kilometers. It is equipped with EO slash IR sensors for detection of micro drones up to 2 kilometers. It also has a RF detector to detect communication within the range of 3 kilometers. Now let's look at how will the new technology neutralize drones. The RF Global Navigation Satellite System or GNSS jammer detects frequency used by the controller. It jams signals from a distance of 3 km. The laser-based system can neutralize micro drones within the range of 150 meters to 1 km. The system will be integrated through a command post. A DRDO official has told HT on condition of anonymity that prototypes for one vehicle-based and ground-based setup have been prepared and evaluated by the DRDO. In our 26th Jan and 15th August National Day celebrations, when the Prime Minister and the other VIPs are there, the DRDO uh, is there in the open press, has a system, has, uh, has, has sensors, um, has certain weapons deployed to protect against this very threat, the small UAV armed threat to protect our VIPs. Now that's on a very small area, small scale. And those that those two days, basically, here you're talking of 24-7, 365 days a year, for yeah. how many next decades, you don't know. So the way to detect is, uh, because the normal radars cannot catch these small drones, uh, the military radars, neither the civilian radars, you've got to have uh, specialized millimetric wave radars, acoustic sensors, which sense, uh, which hear uh, the noise, the whirring noise, normally of the quadrocopter rotor blades, and electro-optic and infrared sensors, which detect. Now, this gives you very short time warning, uh, a warning which is not too long. So these all will have to be sort of networked in a particular base, station, or what the place that you are trying to protect. They all have to be networked to give you as much time as possible to the defenders. And the defenders, what they do uh, is they can, um, you know, home on their weapons, which are either, you know, nets that you throw to catch a, a UAV or shoot it down kinetically. Right. Uh, now, recently, Israel has, just about three or four days back, high powered laser to shoot down from an aircraft, uh, a UAV, but that was a mm. big size UAV. Mm. And or you, you interfere with the electronics of that drone. And you can uh, disable the GPS, you can spoof it, and you can cut the RF link in case it is being guided. Basically, uh, make it deaf and dumb. The, uh, the through electronic sensors. The DRDO has now transferred the technology for production of the anti-drone system to Bharat Electronics Limited. It has also written letters to the three services informing them about the system's capabilities. DRDO is also ready to transfer technology to private companies to produce the anti-drone system. Yesterday, India had raised the issue of drones being used for terror activities at the UN.